and stuff. <laughs> and, 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 uh, great to see them out there, especially the drummers yeah, at the beginning yeah. in the ceremony of the films. That, that was great stuff there. That, that opening march, that blue tail, was great march. It's great, it? great, it, it, great. It really he is. knew how to ride a march, Charles Williams, he didn't does, he? Yeah. Yeah. Fair, fair play. Get it. What, was it, what was the name of the dog? Snowy and was it and, <laughs> and all those people from Dick Barton Special Agent be going... Snowy? Like, Wasn't that Tintin? Oh, was that Tintin? <laughs> oh, I know. They were all the same, though. They, they Must have been one of the man contest. <laughs> <laughs> and the other one, Blue Rondo a la Turk. I'm going to ask you now, what is the name of the type of music that is being played there? It's not a rondo, but what, what is it? It's Turkish Aksak music. Yeah. Everybody knows that. Everybody yeah. knows that, and an Aksak yeah. is a, a reiteration of a, a musical matrix, as in well, nine eight with another one before. Well, I think the piece was inspired by street music. It was Turkish street musicians, wasn't it? Yeah. I think that's what gave and me the inspiration for the piece. And he turned around and said, "That's the same as you were Western blues." Yeah. And yeah. Turned about that, so that's what gave. The great. If we ever hear the original recording of that, we got a saxophone player called Paul Desmond who had a tragic life, usually, you know, went off the rails as they did a lot of them. But the brilliant saxophonist on, on there. So that's something there. Before we go on, Chris is going to be leaving us now in a few minutes' time. Chris, you got our outside broadcasters. On my travels, yeah. yes. Remember how nationwide in the 1970s? It's a bit like that. You could be sending you out, didn't it? What was it? Michael Barrett. Michael Barrett. Michael Barrett. The roving reporter. The roving reporter on nationwide. You're going to be out there with Sue Lawley and all and the rest of the guy there. Yes, they so you're actually going to the Diamond Centre in Kirkby and Ashby and also going to Sherland Minor Centre as well. So good luck for that and hopefully we'll come back and there'll be a report that'll be coming on, uh, which will be a little insert which will be put in between the band's performances. We're hoping that you're enjoying it there. A special mention as well to the residents of Stonelow Court who are uh, hopefully are all there and watching the bands today. It's a, a residential care home, sheltered accommodation, and hopefully they're enjoying all the performances. So a warm welcome to you uh, listening to, to the bands there. So we've had a theme of blue, which we should have really thought of about in a bit more detail, given it was the police force who were doing that there. <laughs> but it's inter interesting items. And then again, talk, we talked earlier on about themes and things like that, but cleverly put together yeah, yeah. by Lee Baker, as you said. It, it really does know how to put a, a program there. Following on from that, we've got Kibworth Band on next, and they, they um, uh, be playing uh, a wide selection of, of music. They're starting off with two verses of Crimin and then going on through the programme. Unfortunately, one of the band members, a family member, died, so they put in the two verses of Crimin as, as a tribute, so that's very nice of them. So we're going on to talking about programmes, talking about, as we say, selections and contrast of that part of it there. Entertainment programmes in general, as I say, we're going to back it. It's such a difficult genre to try and capture and get right. And so many different ideas that bands have, and especially conductors. There's no, there's no perfect formula, is there? No, no, no. And, and there are many formulas that, that can work. I think, as we were saying before, I, I think it's the music that has to underpin everything. But, I mean, we've seen today that there are literally dozens of different formulas that have gone into the programmes and, and again it's the diversity of that that, that that makes the entertainment contest what, what it is. The programme that we've got coming up, we were talking about young arrangers earlier on and, and Dave Holling was a name that we yeah. mentioned and, and <coughs> several of David's arrangements are, are featured in this programme. A little bit of Irving Berlin, we were talking about some of the older music earlier on, Top Hat, White Tie and Tails. Uh, but Dave's also conducting uh, Kibworth mm. um, and as I said, Dave, Dave is one of those uh, talents whose music is, is popping up all over the place now. Well, one of the pieces they play in there, we talk about brass bands and marches, of course British brass bands are brought up with traditional classic marches, the William Rimmer type of things. American bands brought up with Sousa, mm. and a great Sousa march, it, it can't really be did. And they, they're playing Semper Fidelis, of course, which is the motto of the US. Marine Corps, always faithful. I'm always reminded of a story, was, I think it was a Spike Milligan uh, old story. They said a Canadian officer came to him and said, can you play the, 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 or the Maple Leaf Forever? And he said, sorry, sir, I get tired after half an hour. <laughs> so, so you got, <laughs> <laughs> you want to read Spike Milligan, he's brilliant with the quips there. But it, we've, you know, the Americans have got Sousa, who they call as the March King. We've got all sorts of different people we've called the March King over here. There's a chap in the Northeast, if I can't remember the, the, the March King in the Northeast, I'll have to come back to me in a bit later. We've got TJ Powell down yeah, here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, one of the yeah. great marches, yeah. William Rimmer marches. There's a march being played uh, by one of the bands, in, I think it's in the third section, Kenilworth. By Edwin Fleming. Yeah, yeah. March I remember playing in my youth. Yeah. Yeah. He died, I think, it's 100 years ago this year yeah. uh, in, in France. So 
it's, it's great to see. Edward Firth was a cornet player, if Fultons. I remember right. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, 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 he was yeah. killed in action in France. Yeah, I think yeah. Was in, yeah. Think, 16, probably 1916, yeah. I think yeah, it, was. it was. It could be 100 years yeah. ago from that point. There. So we got, as you say, for this program coming, we've got Top Out White Tie and Tales, Irving Berlin. We've got Finale from Fight in the Blood, Paul Lovett Cooper. The Cornet Suite for Cornet by Dave Holland was actually yeah. being played by his wife. Yes, yes. So there yeah. we are. No pressure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no pressure for that. Semper Fidei, let's not say the two verses of, of, of Crimmon. But what we're actually going to talk a little bit more about there, just before we go back there, is to say when you are balancing an entertainment programme, sometimes, as you say, it's just a question of putting the, the right pieces, like a jigsaw puzzle in there. If you fit them together, the picture then, the, the overall picture creates itself. It can be made of so many different it's diverse a, parts. Yeah. It's a matter of momentum, though, isn't it? You know, I think you've got to kind of create the right balance. And amongst that, the, you know, bands generally start up with something that's fairly lively, energetic. You know, we'll, we'll, we get the, the kind of swing big bands to openers as well. But, you know, there's nothing, nothing wrong with a good old march to open a programme, is there? But you've got to kind of announce yourself, you've got to arrive. Sometimes you see bands that maybe try to do something that's a bit more subtle. Mm. And, you know, it can take you some time to get the audience into it, really, can't you? But, um, you know, it's keeping that um, flow, the, 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 the momentum of the programme as well. If you've got um, just nothing but fast stuff all the time, I remember there was a, there was a band that a James Bond programme once uh. at um, Sidis. And it was just in your face, James Bond. You know, it was all the big <laughs> kind of blockbusters for every one of them. And after you know, 15 minutes of that, you're just my God, we just hurry up and get finished, you know. Yeah. But you've it's got to if James Bond was killed, the <laughs> <laughs> the Scaramanga, they come out and shoot him with the golden gun and they you know, knock him off. I think, I think you're right. The key, the key is balance, isn't it? Yeah. It's actually having a balanced programme where you've got a good slow number and you've got good contrasts within the programme. Talking about marches, Brass in concert for donkeys here. Dickie Evans used to come on. Always a march, and it? We used to call it, well, swagger. swagger. March, we called yeah. it a swagger. I think as the years got older, I think his hips <laughs> maybe they, they became a swagger, then they went slower and slower and slower in the end. But it was to go down a bit as it got older, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. it wasn't exactly the Gurkhas marching yeah. past today, but that was it. So, with that in mind, and knowing that we've actually got some great music to come with um, more bands following on from here, we hand you back to the hall where Simone is ready for the next band to play. <laughs> 